Hey guys, some of you would be familiar with this building at the back of the old Japanese farmhouse. Recently a TV antenna, big television antenna on top of the roof collapsed, had to be disposed of. That led to a fascia at the other end of the building having to be painted, which led to noticing that the fascia at the top of this end of the building is due for a paint as well. So we really like to take care of those things because if they fall apart, because the, the tiles sit on top of them, it's a real hassle. And if we're going to be painting that fascia, we sort of really need to do the wall, don't we? Because the fascia and the wall haven't been painted in 10 years. So those of, you who've been, those of you who have been with us for a while would have seen the first time we painted this was 10 years ago. So we couldn't do a zero budget this time. <laughs> we had to spend $40 on a can of paint. Pretty magic silicon based paint that you can put on anything. You can put it on metal or wood or pretty much anything plastic. So very useful for this job because we want to do the metal and the wood. But we just hate paint cans. Paint cans are just a pain, aren't they? They're just not an efficient way to deal with paint. So we've got this four litre container. So I start by putting the paint in there because then we can use as little or as much as we want. It makes it easier to pour into the spray gun. And then when we've had enough, we tighten up the lid. And So I've put some water in that can there because we need to put a little bit of water in the spray gun because the paint on its own is a bit too thick to go through the spray gun. So a little bit of water in the tin just to wash out the paint that's in there. And then off we go. So not bad weather for this exercise. This end's a bit easier than the other end. Those of you who saw the other end <laughs> with the two poles and the roller, that was pretty tricky. This isn't too bad. A bit precarious there on the ladder. It's not exactly where it should be, but... So the sun definitely has got it. That that brown that we're spraying on there is actually the same brown that it was painted with 10 years ago. So that's what, 10 years in the sun. Pretty harsh conditions in Japan with the, the winters being as cold as they are and the summers being as hot as they are. And anything outside, particularly anything that faces south, gets a pretty decent hiding from the weather. So after that last farmhouse video, one of the patrons who's been with us a long time commented that, didn't you say 10 years ago, <laughs> he remembered that it was mentioned actually a few times in videos about 10 years ago when we were doing the original renovation of the place that we didn't want to spend too much money on it because we expected to only stay here for 10 years and that probably whoever bought the place would just demolish it and build a new house on it or two or actually five there's actually five blocks of land they could build on so he reminded he reminded us that you didn't you say <laughs> didn't you say you're only staying there for 10 years and here it is 10 years later and you're painting the place again so he was right but we've actually quite enjoyed being in the old farmhouse so for the time being, we're going to stay here, which is sort of the other reason why probably not a bad idea to do a bit more painting. You know, it's a bit of an investment, isn't it? $40 for that paint, and it'll do all of this wall and probably another wall or two. That's another advantage of the spray gun, as well as it being pretty good at getting into corners and things. It's also pretty cost-effective seems to make the paint go a lot further than it would if we were using rollers or brushes. And it's just good with rough wood and with even even that tin. It just gets in under all the corners and grooves and things. It works pretty well. Obviously we lose a bit in the air. You can see clouds of it, can't you? So we're losing a bit. But overall we seem to use a lot less. It's quite surprising. So probably filled up that can. That can probably holds... Um, 
700 mil or something like that. Probably filled up that can four or five times. So, hang on, work it out another way. Probably used half of the three point, what was it, three point seven liter can. So maybe a liter or so, two liters, to do that whole wall. So it's pretty good. So you can save about two thousand yen, about twenty dollars to do that wall. So if you consider if that top fascia rots and we have to lift all those tiles and replace that wood and everything else, it'll cost a lot more than, than twenty dollars, that's for sure. So someone might have noticed the unskilled labourer only covered one window with plastic there. <laughs> that plastic was left over from that bedroom job. When was that? A year or two ago. So the plastic was free, but only covered one window because the other one that you can see there that's a bit blue coloured is one of the original fly screens. So anybody that was around 10 years ago might remember that the the house and this building were both covered in blue plastic fly screen that the old guy that owned the place had actually nailed over a few windows. Horrible stuff it was and it was really dirty and dusty and you couldn't you could hardly see out from inside. And we were and replaced every fly screen in the house but not that one on that window because it's not a room that we use and it's not a window that we open anyway so it's, it's just left there so if that gets a bit of paint on it it really won't matter probably one one day pull it down and throw it away or maybe replace it with some other screen but it's just not a window we open again we might be here for another 10 years but we still don't want to spend too much money on the place because it still is a fact that when we go, uh, whoever buys the place will more than likely demolish it and build build a new house. So any money we put into the house is basically throwing it away. So we try to keep it to the bare minimum. So that was $20 well spent anyway. So let's have a before and after. We haven't had a before and after shot for a while. Let's check this out. It's going to be a after, before and after, isn't it? So that was the bef the after, now is the before, here's the before, and here's the after. That was about three hours work, so it was worth doing, three hours and 20 bucks, that was worth doing wasn't it? Anyway, there was that, more videos coming soon.